This is the XML sitemap analysis tool. And uh, all you have to do is supply a sitemap, sitemap index, or a robots.txt uh, URL. So I'm going to put something, a sample here. As you can see, there's an option to do it recursively, which means uh, in case it was uh, a sitemap index file, in, in, like in this case, it means you want to retrieve every sub sitemap uh, that this includes. So let's start by removing this option and getting only the sitemap index. So as you can see, it's a, it's a small uh, sitemap here because this is not specific sitemaps. This is the uh, sitemap index. Uh, you have the location, the last modification date, uh, the sitemap, uh, and a few others, other columns that we're going to go through right now. So th the good thing about this is that you get <clears throat> to see how the things, how, how sitemaps are structured. So maybe you're interested in, in, in the author sitemaps only, which you can copy and, and retrieve that uh, only if you want, or any other uh, XML sitemap. Uh, you, can, you can export this which I recommend you do both uh, to get uh, an idea about the, the, the index and the specific sitemaps. So let's do this again with uh, selecting it as recursive. So here we have about seven or eight uh, URLs. Let's see what we get now when we get when we request uh, the whole uh, sitemaps recursively. So this is going to take a few seconds uh, because every uh, single sitemap is being uh, retrieved. Here we go. Uh, and we have a chart that we'll get we'll go through uh, in a bit. So we have a thousand pages times fifteen U fifteen lines, almost fifteen sixteen thousand uh, total URLs in our uh, sitemaps. So um, these are the sitemaps. This is the sitemap. This is the e tag uh, and when it was last modified. These two are response headers uh, provided by the server. So you can compare uh, sitemaps to each other. Um, maybe you want to re-download the same thing uh, a month or two later uh, and see what changed. Uh, the size of each sitemap in megabytes. Uh, when it was downloaded, that would be important if you want to do this multiple times and see last month versus this month versus, versus two months ago uh, and so on. Uh, this is probably the most important column, which is the location, which is the URL. And this is where this URL has been last modified and image and image lock uh, for other uh, uh, URLs that, that include this or other sitemaps. So let's export this uh, and keep a copy. I'll call it my sitemap. And this is going to be a CSV file which we're going to look into uh, in, a, in a moment. So now we have this chart that is based on the last mod uh, column. So the, the last modified date is here on the x-axis and on, on, the, on the y-axis we have equal distances between each dot where each one represents um, a, a URL. So the first thing we can look into is, is the shape of the curve. Uh, as you can see in the middle here, it's it's quite steady, which means the um, the number of modifications, last modifications, have been <clears throat> have been quite steady in this in this period. Um, in this period here, you can see that in a very short period of time we had a spike, which means there were many modifications here, or maybe publications they published more content. Uh, if you look at this area over here we can see that in pretty much the same uh, period, there hasn't been much uh, change as much as we have here. In some cases, you have a vertical line, which probably means that this website made a bunch of changes uh, to, to a large number of, 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 of pages all of a sudden. That's why all of their last mod date is, uh, is the same. So one thing you might be wondering about, uh, let's take an arbitrary date, let's say July 2020, and ask ourselves or, or, or try to get it from this chart, what's the percentage of URLs that have been last modified up to this point? So once we mouse over here, <coughs> we can see that uh, the percentage of pages is 65%, uh, and as a number, it's 10,599. You also see the uh, the URL that this 
point corresponds to and which sitemap uh, it came from. Uh, which also means that 35% have been uh, last modified after this uh, specific date. So you can you can choose an arbitrary date and see the percentage uh, up to that date and, and infer the other uh, the remaining parts. Uh, you can also do this from the other side. And if you're wondering by when did we make modifications to 60% of of the pages, so you can keep scrolling until you get 60% almost. And you'll see that um, the date was February 14th, 2020, um, and, and so on. So what, what you can do further after, after, doing, uh, after downloading is once you open this and get the, uh, the URLs, here we go. Uh, you can take the lock over here. And we can use the URL analysis tool. Uh, and and see the structure. There's another video about this. I'm not going to spend much time on it. So if, if you're interested, you can you can check it out. Uh, this analyzes the components of the URLs and splits them for you. And this is an interactive tool for that. Uh, another thing might be is you, you might be interested in is looking at the uh, audience manager. Uh, this is when you have two sets of URLs and you want to compare them. Uh, and you can also check the other video about uh, this tool. That's it. Hope you liked it. Thank you very much.